Hi folks, how you doing? Russell True Results 303.com. Check out the website link in the description box, Mind Body Spirit Fitness. Put in the healing back and health. Follow on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. Podcast is out there. Excuse me. All those links are down below as well. Coming at you today with why your routine is gonna fail you. I hate to say it. Whatever routine you have right now, this is going to fail you. You will it, it's not gonna last. And there's one thing. We've got to understand that setting goals is more difficult than you think. Why? Why are setting goals more difficult than you think? Setting goals are more difficult than you think because you are not thinking long term. You are not thinking of your legacy, right? They always said you need to work backwards, right? What do you want on your tombstone? What do you want someone to say at your wet, at your uh, funeral. Start working backwards from there. What do you want your 35-year-old son or daughter to say about their father or mother? So you don't think about the long run. We sit there and we write down these goals and we don't we, we have no end to them or we don't think about the end. So you've got to understand is is it sustainable? Is it something that you can do long term? You've got to come right down to it right now. What are you going to do? Is this something that you're going to be doing next year? Can you keep up what you're doing next year in any way, shape, or form? You've got to come up with a routine that is going to become a ritual, right? What is your ritual? This is something you are going to do daily, weekly, for the rest of your life. These are rituals. A routine means nothing. It's the same concept of it. it ticks me off when people get upset about diets. Well, diet is just whatever you're eating. That's all diet means. We have this negative concept of diet. Diet means I'm not eating. I'm not eating this. I'm not eating that. I'm, I'm uh, calorie restricting. Well, no, diet is just what are you eating right now? It's your ritual. Diet is your ritual. Tradition. What tradition do you want to leave in this world? What mark do you want to leave in this world? What do you want people to say about you five years from now, right? It's that same concept of nobody cares if you quit. The only person that cares is you. You're the one that has to deal with that for the rest of your life. So you need to create a routine that is turning into a ritual that is something you are going to do for the rest of your life. If you're going to pick up health right now, I'll tell you right now, if you're just planning on losing weight for this upcoming wedding, who cares? Don't worry about it because what does it matter, right? Isn't that the true sign of being fake in reality? You want to be fake until about June. Yeah, yeah, I work out. Yeah, I work out. Wedding day. Then six months later, you're back to the weight that you didn't like to begin with. Ritual. You do it no matter what. You do it when you don't feel like doing it, right? You pray. You meditate. Why? Because you know it's what's best for you. That's what a ritual is. What's best for you, the people around you. What are you going to do? How can you sustain this? And this is the main thing you need to understand when it comes to exercise. I will tell you right now that, in my opinion, you're never going to start this journey by exercising two times a week and eating healthy. You're just not. I, that's the God honest truth. I hate to say it. I've, said, I've, I've put this on Facebook a while back. There's a difference between losing weight and being healthy. Anybody can lose weight. Or no, there's a difference between, well, there's a difference between losing weight and being healthy. There's a difference between losing weight and being in shape. I want to be in shape. I don't want to just be, you know, I don't want to just be skinny. I don't want to just be a skinny person. I want someone to look at me and be like, dang, that dude's skinny. Oh, he must have just lucked out. And then go out there and run 10 miles. I'm like, nah. nah. I put in work, you know. Oh, he's just skinny. Oh no, watch me rip out a watch me rip out rip out 60 burpees like it's nothing. Now I'm in shape. I take this serious. This is a lifestyle. That's what a ritual is. A lifestyle. A routine is something that you're just doing to pass time. So what are you gonna do? Are you gonna step up? Like you seriously need to contemplate and pray about this stuff, folks. Like, is this what you truly want? Do you want the that lifestyle? Because to tell you the truth, even when you exercise, you're still going to have aches and pains, right? You, 
you might not even exercise right now and you sit on the couch and, oh, my back hurts. My neck hurts, right? Well, the same thing's going to happen when you exercise. Eating healthy is not fun. But you know what? Your body's going to feel better. I'd rather be a little sore and a little fatigued and a little kind of out, out of whack and be able to run, jump, play with my kids and eat healthy versus eat like crap, not be able to run, jump, and play with my kids, my family members, or do any of that. So you've got to make, you know, those, these are decisions that you need to make. No more routines. You need a ritual. You need to decide, I'm doing this for life. And if you can say right now you're not going to do it for life, don't even bother. You're wasting your time. Don't even bother. It's no point. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your money. Be like everyone else and do whatever they do. Go out and have some drinks. Smoke some cigarettes. Do whatever. I'm guilty of doing those things every once in a while myself too, you know. So when I call people out, I'm calling myself out. I'm this type of person too. I'm the slacker. Like I said, I think we've got to understand. People don't understand the themselves. They don't understand the pain that this world brings. You can never make change in yourself until you realize that you are capable of the worst things on this planet. You are capable of anything that any other horrible person out there is capable of. And once you do that, then you can realize that you're also capable of anything that any great person is doing in this world. If you're capable of great things, you're also capable of horrible things. That's what you need to understand, but it's a mindset. Because we've all done things that we are very embarrassed and disappointed about in our own lives. But you know what? That means you're also capable of things that you never thought were possible leading you in that opposite direction. So right now, you need, to, you need to figure that out. What do you want to do? What standard do you want to set in this world? And that's pretty much what it comes down to. You need to find that ritual in your life. That no matter what, this is what's going to happen. I'm doing this no matter what. Three, four, five, six times a week. That's what it comes down to. And other than that, I don't know what to tell you. It's truth right in your face like it or don't I don't really care but you're gonna have to deal with it you're gonna have to face the facts so I hope this helps figure it out follow on social media Facebook Twitter Google plus the podcast the website free download setting goals fitness and nutrition links down below subscribe to this channel share and like these videos